You would use the command output survey if you had been asked for an LSS load file. If you have been asked for an LSS load file, then it's worth checking whether the person who's asked for it would prefer to receive a .lss file because this won't require them to import the data simply open it in their copy of LSS. You can create a new load file and include either the entire survey or restrict the contents by selection filter. If we select entire survey then we have no choice over what is exported. If we choose selection filter then we can choose individual observations or links, specific point and link features, restrict it by polygons, rectangles, current screen views, surface features, particular load files and also a variety of other settings such as instrument height, target height, point number range, level range and a variety of other settings. But we're going to select entire survey you can renumber the points which means that they will be renumbered from one rather than maintaining their existing point numbers. The maintain overlays option means that if you have points in 2D and non-terrain and terrain and crossing links then these will be maintained within the load file so that when they're imported into a new survey they will maintain those particular overlays. And that's all there is to it really. You would simply just hit OK and the load file will be created. If however you have got some heighted surface features within your survey and also if you're exporting a model for machine control and you want the formation levels exporting then you may want to adjust the levels for surface heights and depths. For everyone else who's not involved in this then that's all you need to know about this particular command. I'm just going to draw a section across this part of the survey and here we have an excavation and also we have an earthworks mound which has a surface feature on it which is set to be 0.2 of a meter deep. Now normally what you would do is that depth of feature on a sloping surface such as this would want to be 0.2 meters perpendicular to the slope rather than a vertical 0.2 meters because ultimately that perpendicular distance is going to be much less than the required 0.2 meters. Now we can export the data perpendicular to the surface and that's not a problem but if you're exporting it to machine control and you have one surface feature abutting another surface feature both of which have completely different depths or heights then what happens where the two surface features join? You can end up with two completely different levels. And machine control systems don't like that. So what you would normally do is you would go through the command output surface boundaries and you would get the system to create for a specific surface feature a line of points just inside the boundary. In this case the default is five millimeters and we'd normally choose the feature LDOM and we'd calculate the terrain level at that offset of 5 millimeters, which won't be very much, but at a one-in-one -one slope, then 5 millimeters in is going to make a slight difference. And if we zoom into a small area of this survey, you will now see, zoom in far enough, a line which is 5 millimeters inside the boundary to that surface feature. Which means that now when we do an output survey to into a new survey adjust levels for surface height and depth and make them perpendicular to the surface we get a reminder that we if we're going to export the survey which has a butting differently heighted surface features that we should have gone through the output surface boundaries command which we've already done we now go to save and load create the new survey And if we draw a section through this model, which is effectively the formation level model, there's the excavation. If we zoom right into the mound, you will see that it has gone perpendicular to the edge of the surface, 
by 0.2 meters and then defined the base of that surface feature. If we now show the original survey on that as well, and show that in a different color, the blue area was the original shape of the surface feature and you can see that was going straight down vertically and the red line now is the outputted perpendicular formation level model which is much more representative of the required design.